Sending a thousand best wishes to our Catholic brothers. Welcome back to our channel. I pray to the Almighty that may He bless you with all the happiness, eternal peace, wealth, and long, long healthy years. Before we talk about today's topic of prayer, an invocation to God the Father. Lord Most High, in the name of your beloved Son Jesus Christ, whom you sacrificed to save us, your poor children from the fire of hell, listen to our prayers. We offer you our humble sacrifices. We accept trials and sufferings as a means of bringing salvation to souls in the worn. We ask you to grant forgiveness to sinners who find it difficult to return and receive your mercy so that they may offer you the necessary sacrifices and atonement before you. Amen. Today we'll talk about, Blessed Elena Aiello, the terrible calamity, which will last 70 hours, the fire will fall to destroy them all. We hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to keep up to date with the latest information. Please accompany us and listen to this video until the last moment. Type Amen if you believe, God always bless you. The dire prophecies from credible mystics are ever tagged with specific dates, although some hints could be discerned. Some such prophecies date back many years ago, but are now believed to be up for fulfillment in our days. Consider, for example, the prophecy on fire falling from the sky. On July 23, 1949, the Blessed Mother told Blessed Elena Aiello in Calabria, Italy. Ruin and death will come upon the world. The scourge never seen in human history will come. From heaven it will fall on all the peoples of the earth. The wicked will be destroyed. Mother Elena asked, Will they all die? To which the Blessed Mother replied, Humanity will be partly destroyed, the world is in ruins, Russia will be burned, there will come desolation and death, fire never seen on earth. It wasn't the first time that Blessed Elena received such message from the Blessed Mother. April 16, 1954, she was told, Clouds with gleams of fire will finally appear in the sky and a procella of fire will come upon the whole world. The terrible scourge, never seen in human history, will last 70 hours. Again on April 11, 1952, the Blessed Mother told Blessed Elena. I want it to be known that the scourge is near, fire never seen will descend upon the earth and much of humanity will be destroyed. Those who remain will find in my protection the mercy of God, while all those who will not repent of their sins will perish in a sea of fire. Russia will be almost completely burned. Other nations will also disappear. Italy will be saved in part because of the Pope. No less than our Lord Jesus Christ was reported to have issued the same warning through Archbishop Ottavio Maislini of Italy on December 1, 1977 as follows, they have sacrilegiously violated my laws, my commandments, they have desecrated my church, they have rendered with their infernal stench the air unbreathable, but a fire from heaven will fall upon the earth and wipe out every sign of human folly, there shall not remain, for cities and nations, stone upon stone, until the dreadful wrath of God is appeased. Again on December 4, 1977, our Lord again told the Archbishop, Oh, my son, a fire will fall from heaven, willed and provoked by men, by the pride of men, it will incinerate everything that has been poisoned and infected by men, whereby men himself will be his own executioner. Already marked are those who will escape the destructive fire that will cleanse the church and humanity of the filth with which they are soaked, all the structures sprung from human pride and folly that have made humanity and the church abominable in the sight of God will be destroyed. More recently, on October 13, 1973, in the church-approved Marian apparition to Sister Agnes Sasagawa in Akita, Japan, the Blessed Mother warned. It will be a chastisement greater than the flood, such as has never been seen before. Fire will fall from heaven and sweep away a great part of humanity, the good as well as the bad, sparing neither priests nor faithful. 
The survivors will find themselves so afflicted that they will envy the dead. On September 15, 1987, the Blessed Mother told Fr. Stefano Gobi who was then in Akita, Japan. Fire will descend from heaven and this will be the sign that God's justice has now established the hour of his great manifestation. On November 22, 1987, our Lord Jesus told Sister Anna Ali of Kenya, Flames will be sent down from heaven that will destroy all sinners and the work of the evil one, abysses, mountains, and glowing lava will engulf entire villages. In the same year, on August 11, the Blessed Mother told Maria Esperanza Bianchini in Bethany, Venezuela. Man at this time is abusing the graces he has received and is heading toward perdition. Unless there is a change and improvement in life, he will succumb under fire, war and death. Such a fiery message was also conveyed to other mystics of our times. On January 1, 1989, the Blessed Mother told Patricia Talbot of Cuenca, Ecuador. Heaven will rain fire. All this will come from the Father, the Son, and the Spirit of God. In Conyers, Georgia in the U.S. on August 25, 1993, our Lord Jesus told Nancy Fowler, fire will fall from heaven. This will be caused by men in this decade. Woe to this sinful generation. China, Russia, and Korea will be involved in a great war. And then on July 26, 1996, our Lord Jesus also warned Catalina Rivas of Bolivia as follows, Mankind is experiencing times worse than those of the Great Flood, from heaven will fall flames that will destroy all sinners, together with the work of the evil one, earthquakes, abysses, mountains of glowing lava will engulf whole villages. You will have floods, electrical storms, stormy seas, suicides and plagues. I hope you enjoyed watching this video until the very last second. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the topic we discussed today. Please share your opinions and insights in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon next to it so you won't miss any of our new videos. Thank you for your support and may God erase every speck of gloominess and woe from your life and replace it with joy, peace, and contentedness. Stay blessed now and always. Amen.